Hello everyone, my name is Sue Groom and I'm here to do your weekly angel card reading. I've been doing these for the virtual psychic fair and if you go out to the virtualpsychicfair.com, they um, do have uh, an upcoming January 21st and 22nd coming up for the virtual psychic fair. This is all online and the cards that I'm going to be using today are actually featured on the virtualpsychicfair.com. So if you go out there and you want to learn a little bit more about the cards, you want to see some um, automation on the cards, fabulous. Diane Garris has done an absolutely fabulous job and the cards, when you see them as a picture, it's one thing, but if you go out there and look at the, uh, the animation, wow, the animation that happens, you will be amazed. So. With that in mind, we are going to be doing the week of January 9th through January 15th. And the two decks that I'm using today are, this is the Integration deck, Adore These Cards, and the other deck is the Oracle of Tea. And the reason I use the Oracle of Tea with them, I like doing the blend. This week I'm only doing the two decks. Last week, I'm pretty sure I used three decks last week. Oh. Also, while I'm shuffling the cards, thinking about the week of January 9 through 15, I'm also doing daily, just pulling one card on Instagram, and then I post that. It kind of goes all over. It goes on my Facebook page, Subroom Author. It goes out on the Virtual Psychic Fair page on Facebook. It also goes on Diane Garris's page, and it goes on free angel card readings which is also a page out on Facebook. So first I'm going to pull, um, so I'm pulling three cards, two from the integration, and I like them on either end. Yeah. And I have to remember to breathe. And the other exciting thing about the integration cards is I've been doing on thrivetalknetwork.com. I have been doing Meditate with the Angels. And once a week, I pull one of the integration cards. Thank you, one of them just popped up. I pull one of the integration cards and I do a meditation. And you can go out there at 7 a.m. Eastern and listen to the meditation. Or you can wait until it is out on Thrive Talk Network's YouTube and listen, listen to it then. And it's, I pick one card and we go a little bit deeper into the card. And the one that came out, oh, there's my second card. The one that came out for, that was playing, uh, by the time you're listening to this, it was last week. So it's out definitely on Thrive Talk Network's YouTube was number 15, Success. And I did a manifestation meditation that Diane wrote back in 2008. It was channeled through her, and then it's also using her beautiful music. So, something fun and exciting. <sighs> okay, Oracle of Tea. Pay attention, Sue. Angels, we need a card for January 9th through January 15th from the Oracle of Tea. All right, there we go. So, first card from, this is again from the Integration Deck. OMG, you cannot make this stuff up. Okay, this one, you absolutely have to go out and listen to the, the meditation. It would have been from two weeks ago because this was one of the meditations that I did. And I was actually re-listening to it yesterday with a friend and they're like, Sue, is that you? Is that you talking? And I said, yes, it is. And it's, it's fabulous. So this is really coming up and I'm getting chills. This is really coming up right now, and I have been reading so much from an astrological standpoint. There are so many planets that are coming in, and they're all in the perfect alignment to help us with our higher awareness. Now, number seven is all about the seventh chakra. Can you tell I'm getting excited about this? It's number seven is the seventh chakra. So really pay attention to any ideas that you're getting any um, thoughts that are coming to you that it's like, wow, where did that coming come from? Any aha moments, any deja vus, all of these things. Even 
if you are okay here's a great example the other day i was going to meet up with a friend and making my last bathroom run at home before i leave and i'm almost there and all of a sudden it's like i stopped dead in my tracks and it's like oh i have to take some of those crystals to her i have a few bags of crystals i went and i grabbed not one not two but three moonstones had to go to her and it was absolutely perfect. But I listened to my intuition. I, and I, I literally got that like three minutes before I left the house. So really pay attention. You are getting downloads of information. And when I say download, I'm talking about all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, there's a, I got to write that down really fast because there's so much information coming through. Those are downloads. Also, you might be getting, um, your dreams might be really, um, oh, they might seem a lot more real. You might remember them a lot more. You might wake up and sometimes you might wake up and feel tired because you've been out working all night. So higher awareness is very, very strong. And I really encourage you to go out and listen to the meditation on Thrive Talk Network's YouTube channel and listen to the meditation on number seven, higher awareness. We talk about, um, and I say we because it was a channeled meditation. We talk about going on the back of this beautiful eagle. So pay attention this week, folks. Next card, I'm going to pull it up by itself and then I'll pull it together. Mint tea. Focus. Focus. So it really is about focusing. Focusing what you're getting. Focus on the higher awareness. And this is something too where in the mornings or at night or both, you can sit down and you can do, this does not have to be a long drawn out thing. You can do a meditation for five minutes and you can just say, okay, divine, whether, you know, divine, universe, spirit, whatever you, however you say it, I would like to focus on what it is that I need to know for today. What is it that I need to know about and focus on for today? Is it more joy? Is it more happiness? So focus. And because of this, focus on your higher awareness. Last one, I'm going to pull it up by itself and then I'll combine them. Whew. Truth. Now, I want you to really see this card. It's number 5A. And these are absolutely beautiful. They look like either roses or carnations. I can't tell. I'm not a flower expert. However, truth. Truth is all about speaking what is truth for you. Something that may be truth for me might not be truth for you. But there are also truths that are truth with a capital T that is a truth for everybody. Love joy, divinity, grace. Those are things that are truth for everyone. So because of how this is coming up, the higher awareness, focus, and the truth. And the truth is the fifth chakra. You can see that it's got the, um, the blue. The fifth chakra is the throat chakra speaking your truth yes let's see by the time you watch this since it starts on the 9th mercury will be direct but will also still be in the shadow for another few weeks three weeks so still and this is not <laughs> this does not stop just because mercury isn't in retrograde anymore speak your truth sometimes it is not easy to speak up and speak your truth you can speak your truth with love, with love. And if you focus on your higher awareness, focus on your higher awareness, truth comes out so much easier. And it's what's right for you. It doesn't mean that it has to be what's right for everybody else. So, wow, what a fabulous week, everybody. Uh, again, this is Sue Broom, and I'm doing the weekly angel card reading for the virtual psychic fair. And if you enjoy li listening to me, I do a live Angel Talk with Sue radio show on thrivetalknetwork.com. It's 1 p.m. Eastern every Monday. Replays for Thrive Talk are always on their YouTubes, generally by Wednesday of the week. 
So both the Meditate with the Angels and Angel Talk with Sue, by Wednesday, those should be out there available for you for replay. So enjoy your weekly angel card reading. Thank you, Diane, for creating such beautiful cards. I love it. Love it.